Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Outlast Whistleblower. What's in here? Oh, all the tools are missing. That's a shame. Don't know. Didn't know the Joker was in here. Almost missed you. Above the knees, below the navel, sliced and soon on Gluskin's table. To make a place to push inside, the groom will make himself a bride. Above the knees, below the navel, sliced and sewn on Gluskin's table. To make a place to push inside, the groom will make himself a bride. Oh my god! Can we perhaps not do that? Hello, Joker. I heard you out here. Hello? Alright, where am I going? Can I go through here? No. Hello? I hear someone talking. Ah, okay, I can go this way. Alright, I can go through there. Just check there's nothing... Here? No, okay. Alright. Oh good, electrify fencing. Sorry, I couldn't find you. Kill us. Burn the building. Worse than death here. Kill us, kill us. What's going on? Well, there wasn't actually anything in here, was there? No. Okay, good. That's all electrified, so I'm I'm not even gonna consider touching that. Alright, that's locked. Hello? Anyone down here? No batteries. Oh, God. Oh, you don't need to. All right then. I'll leave you to your happy alone time.
Oh, good. The power is still on. Electricity. I need to think, Lisa. I thought the power w was evidence that some manageable, some human force still controlled some small part of Mount Massive, but nothing human or sane can do anything here but survive. And even that, not for long. You are always the reasonable one, Lisa. I would tell You would tell me to calm down, to take a larger view. Madness and inhumanity ruled this place. Whatever is keeping the electricity flowing is trying to trap me here. I need to shut it down again. Ugh. Oh, he's left. Whoa! Oh shit, yeah, they can open doors. Uh, which one? This one? Oh god, he's following me. Do you have any batteries or anything on you? No. Right, okay. That's him dealt with, he's not following anymore. Oh god, Billy! No, 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 no. No, Billy, no, no, no. Anything around here? No! Excuse me. No. The fuck was that? Oh, battery. I don't want to know what that was. We'll just leave that as is. Oh no, that's where I came through. Okay, that's fine. Whoa! Were you trying to hit me? It would be so easy. I don't believe in it anymore. Getting the truth out, there is no truth, only lies. We've accepted too long to double back on. It's our, it's our children, Lisa. I would take the easy way out if it wasn't for the boys. Down this place to hell. I will suffer anything to get out of it. Anything around here? Do you have batteries? Anything on you? No. Right, let's head up. All right. There we go. Nice bit of parkour. Oh no, Billy, please. Anything up here before I head out? 
No, okay. What a lovely view. Apart from, you know, all the death. Nothing up here? No, okay. God, this DLC is really stingy with the batteries. No, come on. Jesus. Is the camera all right? Oh, good. We've got a person who thinks he's several. Prefer if you wouldn't talk about me while I'm here. Anything around here? No batteries, anything of the sort? Doesn't look like it. This is not very well stocked. I don't like it. No, thank you. I don't want to be. There's a battery there. Fuck. Can I get to it? I don't want to be a gift for anyone, especially a groom. I am. I ain't no bride. Oh crap. Okay, I can't get to that battery, never mind. Need to be. Keep a stronger lookout. You're all right, Mr. Park. Calm down. Oh! Back inside, like the harder I try to escape, the deeper I get. Like the deeper I try to escape, the deeper I get. Dead men aren't a surprise anymore. Suicide seems wise. All right, that's what you were panicking about. That's understandable, although, to be honest, you've... Seen quite a few dead bodies at this point. Quiet. Oh! Speak. If they catch us, they'll give us to him. The man downstairs. Bad. Very bad. Very, very bad. God. Oh, God. All right.
Where did you go? Can search around here to see if we find any batteries. There's a radio, but no batteries. Tight git. Oh god, where am I going? No, I really don't. Oh good, found a battery. Do not assume anything, because when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. Dr. Ford, I conducted another interview with your patient, Dennis, this afternoon and have to agree with your suspicions. In the course of a 40-minute interview, I had wide exposure to all four of Dennis's expressed personalities, as near as I could tell, two brothers, their father and their grandfather. They seem primarily, primarily concerned with some sort of little threatening flood, with a life-threatening flood, though there, has, there was little consistency between this event having already happened or threatening imminent arrival. The clarity of his delusion and performative nature of the personality's expression certainly suggests malingering. I admittedly fall in the Ferdensburg camp of categorical scepticism of disassoci disassociative personality disorder, but Dennis's case seems clearly invented by an attention-seeking patient, more likely symptoms of gross narcissism and a obsessive compulsory disorder. Continue with shock therapy. Sincerely, Dr. Wolfram. Huh. Right, let's get reloaded. As much as I hate to intrude on this family meeting, can you uh, point me the way out? Ah, never mind, I found it. There he is. What do you think? Oh, he'll do. We, for once, we agree. Oh fuck! No! Oh, this way, this way! Get through the... Through the thing!
Let's go meet this Glaskin guy. Assholes. Any batteries? I'm running a tad low. I don't need it for now, at least anyway. Oh no! A man's body mutilated and bent to mimic or mock the moment of birth. The kind of thing a man cannot see without changing in some irreparable way. Lisa, I was with you when both our boys were born. It was until recently the most miraculous thing I'd seen. Completely outside of reasonable belief and yet somehow central to everything I've come to believe since. You always said I was too literal minded, tried to turn everything into an if then statement. Lately I've widened my horizons. How can the things I've seen here be? But I know the answer. Money. Profit. Things we made just because we could. Oh, God, no, that's... Welcome home. This is not my home. In any way, shape or form is this my home. You don't have to be crazy to work here, but it certainly helps. Alright, nothing here. Here, additional footsteps, I don't like it. God. Whoa! Sorry. We've met before, haven't we? No. I know I've seen your face. It may be just before I woke up. Although it seems like it's really now. I'm going to go with you. Let me see you. You don't have to be alone anymore. It's alright. I've grown accustomed to being alone. I can feel that emptiness inside you. No, this, thank you. Put as much distance between you and me as I possibly can. Fucking right. How has he got here so quickly? Wasting any more of my batteries. Here we go. I'm already beautiful. Don't... No thanks. 
Oh god, where? This way. Yes! Freedom! Sanctuary! Ah, oh, crap. Ow. Pretty much. Thank you. It's it's fine. I can make my own way up. And away I go. No, we don't need to continue. You can just let me be. I am quite capable of killing myself. There's no place like home. I, 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 I quite agree. Uh, I know this is a trap, but remember rightly, there's no other option but to hide in here. Damn, God damn, damn. Down to two batteries. Is he coming? There we go. I, I hadn't triggered him. My love's over. Darling. Hello. Can't hide from me. You make yourself a gift. A delicacy to be unwrapped and unwrapped again. No, thank you. A woman, but after the ceremony, I made an honest woman of you. I promise I'll be a different man. Yeah, no, that's not how that works. Just because you get your end away doesn't mean you're going to be any different. I want a family, a legacy to be the father I never had. I'll never let anything happen to our children, not like. Not like your own father? Thank you. That wasn't necessary. Twelve hours later. Oh, and who's this? Are you cheating on me? And you said you'd change. Try to bleed less. I know the very sex often endures the same wounds with your suffering, but you really need to make an effort. No! 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 No, no, no! No, I'm so sorry, darling. Love. Isn't 
No, as a man, I... Oh, no. Even though it's entirely fictional, I winced. What's <laughs> still now, darling? All these unsightly hairs. Oh, silky smooth, like a little girl again. Now the more delicate bits. No! No! Don't! Please! No! What is wrong with you, man? Oh good, now it's my turn. Yay. Oh, and th there I am. Amazing bone structure. Thank you. Soft skin. You're going to be beautiful. I already am though. You just said I had great Only skin and bone structure. Has to suffer some things. It's not pleasant, I know. But just try to endure for my sake for the sake of our children we're not going to have children we can't so physically have on. children a few snips of the flesh here and here cut away everything vulgar a soft place to welcome my seed grow our family no can, no 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 can we not why am I getting bondage treatment with this one? Well, the other two got weren't. Thank you for your most timely intervention. Right, let's hobble as fast as we can. I've lost my batteries. Hello. Hobble, 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 please. Faster. Sure, why not? Fuck! Oh god damn it! I got lost. Why have I lost my batteries? I'm pretty sure I had uh, two left. Still intact. I'm here, Lisa. I'm still me. He he tried to make me his bride, to cut me. Maybe I was wrong, telling the world we would only draw it here. Should this place just die and fester here? I wouldn't I wouldn't I won't tell the world if it means spreading the infection. Let it die alone, let it rot. Where have, where have my batteries gone? Shit. 
I see you. Which way are you gonna go? I'm already beautiful. Right, let's try this again. And try not to get lost or stuck. I... It's not meant to be, Mr. Claskin. Fuck! Where do I... Oh, there's a door there! Shit! Okay. That's my fault for being an idiot. going now. Uh, I think I've got this down pat now. You were going to slice me up in an area that should not be sliced. I already am. Don't need your help for that. Out the window, out the window. Jump! Fuck. Calling us sluts is not going to endear us to you any quicker. Right. Well, there's a file, but I really need some batteries. Lucid dreaming figures remain as murky as ever. Gluskin claims near constant control of his dream state, yet correspondence between his narrative and REM cycles. Highly arithmetic REM, NREM, morphogenic engine activity plateaus at 90 RPM. Diagnostics, heavy bronchial acc accumulation, the rashes associated with hormone therapy have receded and vanished since we stopped using latex tubing. Interview notes, Glaskin remains frustrating, a frustrating interview subject. He's still trying to tell us what he thinks we want to hear, while studiously avoiding certain elements of the truth. His childhood remains an obvious fiction. He's claiming to have grown up in Leave It to the Beaver, despite a traumatically violent ongoing sexual experience that is a matter of public and medical record. When I confronted him with the photographs his father and uncle took, he responded with a mixture of laughter and anger and restraints were issued. He similarly refuses to discuss his victims, both categorically and specifically. When I showed him pictures of the women, he would not admit that they were dead or mutilated. He is claiming advancement in morphogenic engine program that he has not yet achieved said that he would he could clearly hear the voice of the war rider just by closing his eyes clearly he's still trying to curry the favor of his doctors i won't speculate at what he expects to gain by it i see Gluskin is uh, all kinds of crazy need to find some batteries All right, that door needs a key let's, 
go down here first. Oh, is that a battery? Yes! I'm not going to use it just yet. Oh, I might have to. Yes. Oh, another battery. Thank you. Good. Lovely. Bodies hanging like wet laundry, like skinned rabbits. Men mutilated, hunted and murdered. The shortest distance between any two points separates violence and ruined lust. Whatever story he's telling himself he's not making women to bear his children, he's making women to kill them. Lisa, I want you to burn this place and any evidence it ever existed to the ground. Destroy the Murkoff Corporation, bury it in shame, take away its money, wipe it from history. This man thinks he's in love. He thinks the therapy made him better. Everything reeks of death and fear. Piss and coppery blood meant decom meat decomposing to game. Lovely stuff. way out there. Help! Battery! I saw you in the darkness. And I need you. Thank you. Oh, hi! You having a good day? Oh, goody. Great. Stock is back up. Oh, good. Well, there's the key. No. Coming in here. Let's run, run, just run. Got the key, I can leave. I know where to go. Back through here. Up the vent. And freedom! What? 
over, up and over. Perfect. Oh fuck. Hi! Oh, he, he's got a hell of a right hook on him. Or left hook rather. I didn't intend to... I'd rather not. I don't... This don't... These don't look, look like the kind of people I would normally hang out with. Oh god. I, I'm still carrying some holiday weight, you bastard. I'm trying to survive. Yes, come on. Oh, that sounded unpleasant. I doubt, very much doubt it. Come on, let's get the camera up. He's dead. The amateur surgeon, father to be, husband. His guts shredded and pulled from his belly. I'm trying not to laugh. Oh God, Lisa, I swear to you, I'm trying. <laughs> Is there something I can pick up? No. I can't read it either. Okay. Doesn't matter. We don't have to worry about Gluskin anymore. We can leave. Back to the mail ward. Excellent. Oh, I think we might be near the end. Yes! Uncle Fester's dead. A chapel on fire in the distance. I didn't even know we had a church. Where's God when you need him? Oh, hi. Let's just say he's dead. Yeah. What kind of sick fuck would do this to somebody? Corporate cops, mercenaries, private military, contractors, whatever they call them now, they're as helpless as the rest of us, need to get out, escape. Hey, Traeger. Alright, let's avoid those because they we know they shoot miles. They're not gonna let me escape. Especially since I'm dressed like a patient. Oh another battery. File, I saw you. Dear sirs, the groundwork has been laid to ensure an uneventful egress for Rudolf Wernicke from Structural and Financial Systems at Mount Massive. His advanced age should elevate, alleviate any suspicions among contractors and employees, among whom he has been cheerfully nicknamed the Crypt Keeper. And legally speaking, he died years ago. I understand patients 14306-8, and 14868-1 have already been scheduled for transit. We're all terribly excited at the obvious profit potential for the new project. My researchers have combed through Wernicke's files and found no mention of the three lucid dreamers. I think we can safely assume Wernicke has, was, was sufficiently distracted by the partial success of patient Billy Hope, along with his own infirmity. 
to be ignorant of the real discovery at hand. Even minimal exploitation of these resources is hard to overestimate. I only hope the new facilities is sufficiently shielded to allow female staff, so I can see what comes with my own eyes. Right, so they're starting up somewhere else. Great stuff. Nope, let's not go that way. Ah, that's uh, Miles doing his doing his job. I don't think I'm going the wrong way. Where am I? Alright, can't get out that way. Oh no, I was going the right way. You right there, Traeger? I can run better now, thankfully. Oh no, definitely need this still on. Freedom! Give me liberty or give me death. Preferably liberty, though. Oh, we're here back at the beginning. Oh, a file. Caution level triple black security protocols, including chemical restraint, physical restraint, and separate adaptive hyperbaric chambers, are to be used at all times in transit. Chemical stimulation is highly recommended for all personnel within 500 meters of the patients. Attempts at communication should be assumed to be hallucinations and disregarded. Facial disfigurement should not be taken as a sign of lost ac acuity. They are physically blind but not unseen. Note, security clearances for Project War Rider will not apply to information regarding patients, those three patients. New security clearances will be issued an appropriate protocol assigned. Alright, so I'm guessing that after the Outlast Trials is released, we'll probably get a follow-up to this story in like the fourth game, maybe. Here we are, freedom. Mr. Park. <laughs> I think he's still alive. Jeremy Blair, my su my supervisor's supervisor, a man who'd seen who'd see me skinned, salted, and raped for a promotion, and a few martinis, injured, dying if he's not already dead. I'm trying to feel sorry for him, really I am, but there's no way in hell he's stopping me from getting out of this godforsaken place. I'm coming home, Lisa. Deal? Uh, no, fuck you. Please. Uh, you son of a bitch. Bye, Jeremy. You won't be missed. Come on, we're so close. We are so close now. Get up, man. And you still got all your fingers, unlike Miles. Oh. Oh, there he is, over there. Oh, 
I'm still recording everything. I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Never mind. Out is out. Goodbye, Mount Massive Asylum. So, Miles, I'm going to steal your car. I hope that's cool. I love the irony of this. I called Miles in to investigate, and yet I'm the only one who's leaving alive. Hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Murkoff. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoiacs with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, there'll be nothing to Murkoff but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. But, once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. But it's the right thing to do. Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? Yes, frankly it is. Upload, no hesitation. Holy crap. These games are amazing. But that really does bring our time at Mount Massive Asylum to a close. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Outlast Whistleblower. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.